Hi everybody, my name is Doug Bird. I'm the Circulator Product Manager for Takeo Comfort Solutions. And welcome to the 2018 AHR show here in Chicago. Uh, we're all here in the uh, Takeo Comfort Solutions booth and we're really excited about all the new products and technology we have to show you this week. So I'd like to start off with our ECM high efficiency circulators. Uh, you may recognize these from last year. Uh, the newest entrance to our family of circulators, the 007E. Very simple, it has one system uh, control curve. There's no programming, no dial to set. Very simple, just install it just like a normal 007. And then the second product is our 0015E3, which takes it to the next step. It gives you a, a, a selector dial to set the program for the pump to operate at either five feet of head, 10 feet of head, or at full speed. Now, both of these circulators have a great feature we call the Sure Start. And what that does, it, it'll free itself of air to purge air from the pump, or if the rotor should get stuck, it'll self-clean itself and, and so it's operational again. So that's called Sure Start. So those are the, the base products. And from this platform, we're really excited to introduce a brand new product this year called the 006 E3. It's designed for the domestic hot water uh, circulation market. And we can show you that next. Okay, here we are at the brand new 006 E3. Again, it's part of the ECM circulator platform. It's a 40 watt circulator designed for the domestic hot water recirculation market. I can point out a few key features that uh, not on the other models. You can see a speed dial selector on the front. Now this is an infinitely adjustable fixed speed circulator. So they're markings from minimum to maximum speed to really fine tune it for your system. Or we have three distinct settings, low, medium, and high, for those that are familiar with three speed circulators. And we also have two additional markings. One here, the 003, and the other 006. So if you're removing an existing 003 or 006 circulator, you can just turn the dial directly to those settings and you're setting the performance curve exactly like the pump you're replacing. Okay, the great thing about this platform now is that with this circulator, which gives you high efficiency on the circulator side, we add the cord. Now it can be combined with the, the award-winning smart plug, which introduced uh, last year. It was a product of the year winner at the uh, AHR show last year. So now we can combine a high efficiency circulator with the intelligence of the smart plug, which learns when the home uses hot water, and it programs the circulator to operate just exactly when the home uses hot water. So that's what we're going to call the Smart Plus E package. It'll consist of the pump, cord, and the uh, smart plug control. Now we take it one step further from there, we also have a product called the Hotlink Plus E, in which we add the Hotlink valve. So if you have a home that's not equipped with a domestic hot water recirculating line, you can retrofit this system into the home by using the Hotlink bypass valve. And this is installed at the fixture furthest from the water heater, you attach the cold and hot line to the valve, and that creates the recirculating loop. So again, now you have the high efficiency circulator, the smart plug learning control, and the hot link bypass valve to give you a retrofit system. Now I'll point out a couple of the LED lights here. You can see the smart plug. There are a few LED lights that'll tell you what's going on. The green is the power light, lets you know that the, the control is powered. Okay, the other light you see is the mode selector. And because it's flashing, that tells you that it's in pulse mode. That means, again, it comes on every 10 minutes, runs for five minutes, off for 10 minutes, on for five minutes. And there's an additional um, LED indicator that's red, and it's flashing. That tells you that there's something wrong with the sensor, maybe it's misconnected, or it's not operating properly. So that'll give you a little di diagnostics to work with. And the reason why it's flashing is because the sensor is not connected. The smart plug learns what it needs to do through a 10K sensor attached to the hot water supply. So if I plug this sensor in, you'll see that that red light will go away. And now the mode is set for solid yellow. That tells us now in learn mode. Through the sensor, it's learning exactly when the homeowner uses hot water in the house, stores that data over a seven day period, and the following week, on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and so on, it tells the pump exactly when it needs to run. And if you'd like to learn more about the Smart Plus E and the Hotlink Plus E, you can visit our YouTube channel, and we have instructional videos there for you to learn all about the great new products we have to offer. Now, I'd like to turn it over to Rick Brindamore, who will give you a little more information on some of the new valve and leak detection products we have here at the booth today.
Hi, I'm Rick Brindamore. I'm the product manager here at Takeo for all the valves and accessories products that we offer. And what I wanted to talk to you about today is our whole new leak detection family of products that we have. <clears throat> Beginning with our standard leak breaker product, basically a water heater shutoff. So when you uh, when your water heater uh, begins to leak or uh, maybe blows a relief valve, the valve will sense it, shut off the sub water supply to the water heater, and prevent any catastrophic flooding. And we kind of take a step up to the next product, which is the leak breaker with E-Link, which is our connected version of leak breaker. Pretty much the same basic product with connectivity. So any type of status change on the valve or the control unit, whether it's you lose the connectivity to the cloud or uh, maybe the uh, some type of sensor error or the valve error, it shuts down, it's going to send you an email and text message and let you know what's actually happened with the product. So the newest addition to a leak breaker family is the leak breaker alert plus. This is our uh, leak detection system little bit of a step up now we've got a, a, a complete uh, supply water supply shutdown so we've got remote sensors you'll be able to add up to at least 10 sensors to your system so whether you want to put one in the bathroom in the, uh, in the laundry room in the mechanical room wherever you want to put them where you can sense water so neat little package here so you can mount the sensors directly on the floor itself with the little sensors on the bottom here or in this case you can mount a sensor on the wall and then have the uh, extension down on the floor so the valve actually gets installed on the incoming water supply a lot of the same features of the leak breaker e-link except you now have two-way communication so not only does it send you alerts and status changes to the to the sensors to the valve to the control unit but you've got an app that allows you to have some feedback to the Alert Plus itself. You can close the valve, you can open the valve. You'll also see all the status changes that you have going on uh, through the app. So now we'll step up to the, to the last product in our leak detection product offering, which is Flood Breaker. A little bit different than the Leak Breaker product where there are no sensors involved at all. There's algorithms in the, in the control unit that look at a lot of different aspects of water usage, but the three main would be the volume of water used or gallons of water used, the flow rate that it's used, and the time that water is flowing. So you don't need to put any sensors anywhere in the system. The valve gets on your, uh, same thing, the valve would get installed on your water main, and then monitor the flow of water usage throughout the day, evening, whenever you're gonna use them, and then shut it off when it detects a leak. So if you'd like to learn a little bit more about our new and existing leak detection products, you can head on over to takeocomfort.com and all the information you're going to need will be there. And I'm going to now toss it over to Tim Davis to talk about Clarity Cube.